What's going on guys? Uh, back from another video today. Um, if you just watched the last one, welcome back. Um, I probably finished filming that two minutes ago. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, if you didn't watch the last one, I'm going over my top 100 cards. This is going to be 50 through 1. So the top half last video went over 100 through 51. Uh, but like I mentioned, there was kind of like a rough estimate, you know, it wasn't exact. Um, and yeah, that's kind of why the last video had like a crappy ending. Just quickly did it because I wanted to get into this one, but... Uh, yeah, gonna be going over 50 through 1, so I got some really dope cards here, so I hope you guys stick around for the whole thing. So, uh, we'll get started. Uh, gonna pick up where we left off with this Michael Jordan Tops Bombardiers. Really dope, got that, like, rain effect. Such a sick card. Um, and then, <clears throat> next up, got this Thunder and Lightning. I'm not gonna pull it out, but you can kind of see there's a card in there of Scotty Pippen. That's the Lightning. Had this one for a pretty long time. Really dope card, though. Um, then this is, like, one of my better pickups of last year. Got this at the National. This is a 96 Topps Chrome Refractor. First year Topps Chrome Refractor. Akeem Olajuwon. I got this for a freaking steal. I think it was, like, 120 bucks, maybe even 100 I can't remember. But yeah, that was an awesome deal. Hopefully this lighting isn't too bad. The, you know, it's snowing. And, uh... The um, sun's going crazy out there, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, got this first day issue. Jordan, really, really rare insert um, that you don't see much. Just for that little uh, first day issue stamp up there. Then got this uh, Game Breakers, Scotty Pippen and Jordan. I'm not crazy about this card, but I have it. <laughs> it's a decent card. Now we're getting into some refractors here. Got this uh, Bowman's Best Techniques Refractor. It's kind of crappy, but uh, it was one of the cheaper Jordan refractors, so I grabbed it. <laughs> Little Jordan break here. Got this uh, Stockton patch auto. I've actually thought about selling this card recently. It's number to five. It's really cool. Three color game worn. But uh, yeah, it's cool. Then got this uh, 96 tops. Something like that. I can't remember. Uh, holding Court Refractor with the peel. Dope card. I actually traded for that at uh, two Nationals ago, along with this card. Uh, Shooting Stars Refractor. I showed the base um, in the last video, but I do have the Refractor. That's a sick one. Love this card. I've been hunting for a while. Um, I traded away a Bird Patch Auto and a Magic Auto, and I got those two Jordans. So, uh, yeah, I was happy about that. Um, and this this day is one of the biggest pickups I've ever had. I spent like four seventy five on this on eBay, I think, while I was uh, dropping a deuce. <laughs> um, this is sick, though. It's like a double-sided refractor. I still love this card. It's from uh, 96 Tops Finest, I think, right? Um, it's the bronze. They have, like bronze, silver, and gold. Obviously, bronze is the uh, lesser version, but yeah, it's a cool one. Um, all right, so like I said, I have cards on display. I have 40 cards that are displayed, and they're kind of broke up into sections. This first one uh, is random, so it's going to be a bunch of different cards here. This is a 10 auto. It's not graded, but check on card, rookie auto, or in person, I should say. Um, that's a dope one. This was like the cheapest Shaq auto that was on eBay, and um, I thought this was way cooler than some crappy... Like, you know, tops auto number to a thousand, so I grabbed that. Then this is one of the oldest cards I've had. One of my freaking like first probably 15 cards I bought. Uh it's got the subgrades on the back. 86 Fleer, Clyde Drexler. Rookie. You know, nothing crazy about it, but solid card, iconic set. Um then got this Kim Olajuwon, one of one auto from Flux. Really sick one. Um, it's not crazy, but the black looks nice. Another sick Clyde Drexler card here. Uh, first year NT patch auto, numbered five of five. Game worn, really cool. Love the uh, 
number die cut, so that's a nice card. And then I mentioned that I uh, traded my bird and magic autos. Those are my only ones at the time. In the last video, I showed my magic auto. I still haven't replaced my bird auto, but I did get this kind of uh, to replace it. This is uh, from 1415 Immaculate. Game worn, sick patch. Kind of, I don't know, I was on a real patch kick and I kind of wanted a patch more than an auto, so grab that. Uh, these next two are crazy. Again, if you watch my last one, there was a little bit of Topps Chrome in there, I think. Um, but I love Topps Chrome, my favorite stuff. Um, and so these next two cards are uh, in that realm. Man, you really can't see it. Uh, this is an 08 Topps Chrome. Mm -hmm. Isaiah Thomas, gold, number to 50. One of my favorite cards I have. Man, it's such a great looking card. They just don't make them like they used to. I uh, I love these cards. And then this one I mentioned in the last video, I had the paper version. Um, I was able to pick up the chrome. This is also from 08, but it's Bowman Chrome, number to 50. Such a sick card. Love this shack. Um, now we've got some, uh, some crazy autos here. <laughs> um, this is a... Triple auto, number to 39 of Dominic Wilkins, John Stockton, and Dennis Rodman. Again, this is a card you just don't see. Um, yeah, but it's like, I don't know. I mean, I think it speaks for itself. It's, you know, such a dope card. I thought I'd never see it again, so I bought it. And that's the same thing with these next two. Um, this is a Julie Serving, Trace McGrady, dual auto, number to 50. Now it is from the, I guess, more modern upper deck where they didn't have the NBA license, but that's still a pretty sweet card. And then this one um, is also a first year at National Treasures, number two five, yeah, number four five of IT, Keem, and Dominique. I love getting these cards, man. Um, I just feel like some of these Hall of Famers are at such a good value and a card like this just can't beat it um this next one uh is probably my favorite card in this uh in this little section here um this is a key melange one top gold label red label i showed my ray allen i talked about how much i love this set number 200 again i just i think these cards are so clean so simple so rare i just uh i love these cards and uh yeah i spent like 80 bucks on this. Yeah, I like, think I $80 a long time ago, but yeah, that's a sick card. And then the last one here, a little one on one. Dominique Contenders Autos. I love Contenders Autos. I think they're so cool. Um, and yeah, got the one on one there. I have a lot of, I have a lot of nice Dominique Autos for whatever reason. I like him as a player, but he's not that high up on my, uh, you know, player collecting list. All right, this next section is Jordan. I got a lot of nice Jordan inserts. There haven't been a ton shown so far. That's because most of them are uh, on display. So uh, got this Skybox Rubies. The only thing that's different is that red text. But this is a crazy rare card. That's what I like to look for is um, in the Jordan inserts. I haven't been buying as much lately again. Pretty much everything over the past year and a half has been John Wall. But when I was and when I get back into buying Jordan inserts... It's all about, you know, how rare the card is and uh, kind of finding what the cheapest ones in that in that range are. And this is one where it's something like over 5,000 packs to pull this, and this was like a $300 card, so that was a, a nice one. Um, this is a card that I got graded myself, PSA 9, 96, Top's Finest, the Mystery Finest, Bordered Refractor. Pretty cool. Nothing crazy, though. Um, then another card I got graded myself came back a nine. Uh, this is a Michael Jordan New Heights from 95 Flare. This card got shipped to me in a bubble mailer and it was in a penny sleeve and that was it. And I was really pissed off when I opened it up. I had just come back from a long drive and I was really excited to get this. And I was like, oh my God, this card is going to be bent in half. And then I took it out. I looked it over and it was freaking mint. So I sent it off, um, and yeah, sick card. Uh, this next one, 
Um, I live very close to the Chantilly show, so I go up to all those. I've been going there forever. And I spent most of my budget on this card, which was at the first table I looked at, PSA 9. If you collect Jordan inserts, you know um, this is a, a pretty tough one to find. It's not necessarily the rarest, but it is such a nice looking card. Um, I think I spent 450 on this. I mean, these are tough to find for like less than 750. <laughs> these are, are really tough, and they're not even... I know I've talked about how I like going for the super rare stuff that I think is undervalued, but this one is is kind of the opposite where it's like it's just sought after and it's not insanely rare but yeah this one it, it just looks too good for me to not want it all right then we got a power boosters and like i said these aren't in exact order that one would probably be higher than power boosters but that's just how they were organized on my shelf got the graded cards in the back um yeah this power booster is still a sick card though and this is one where uh, I think a Power Boosters is something like 1 in 25 packs, but there's like, you know, 400 cards in the set or something like that. So, tough to hit that exact card. This one is something that has not been in a, uh, in a single card so far. Um, this is a pack-pulled card. I do not open packs because it's a waste of money, but I bought uh, two of these packs of 95 Skybox Premium from the Chantilly Show like when they first opened up after covid just because i think buying like wax if you can afford to buy wax and hold it um that's a great investment those things always freaking go up um but i just wanted to buy some packs that i can't afford to buy boxes and, and left on my shelf for like three months and then i said you know what, what the hell i don't care about making five dollars i want to open these um and i hit this freaking michael jordan meltdown um which is the best card in the whole set. And yeah, it was crazy. At the time, it was probably worth like 400 bucks. Um, and yeah, I'm never selling this though. Too cool of a story, so. That's a dope one. This is a card that I never thought I would get, but when Jordan's just started tanking, I grabbed it. This is a Sky View. Again, this is something like one in 5,600 packs, I want to say. I haven't looked. There's a list online that I haven't looked at in a long time, so I'm going off the top of my head. But yeah, that's a, that's a rare one. I have the Power Palette, which is like the same card, but without the die cut. Um, yeah, that's a, it's not crazy looking, but it's really rare. And then this one is uh, another just great looking card. Uh, Hooper Stars, really cool insert. Nice die cut. This one is similar to the Holographics, where I don't think it's super rare, but this is uh, Top's Finest hard, Hardwood Honors. Um, and same thing with the holographics, like I already mentioned, um, it's just, I think the people that get them, they just don't want to get rid of them. So they're tough to get at market value. Then got this legacies. Um, I grabbed this, I think I grabbed this two nationals ago. Yeah. I grabbed this two nationals ago and I paid, I paid like two, it was either 150 or 200, whatever it was a freaking steal. Um, cause the guy had all modern cards in this. And so I knew it was, uh, I could have had them down a little. He didn't exa I don't think he exactly knew what it was. So that was great. Um, got this quick strike, man. I paid up on this. Um, but it was kind of the same thing as the sky view. It had come down like half of what it was. And so I was so excited to grab this really cool with that acetate in the middle. Such a rare card. Um, this next one is uh, kind of what got me into Jordan collecting. This is the Hoops 911. So um, the card is like the 911 is a sleeve. There's a card in there, pulls out. Um, like I said, this is what got me into it. Um, kind of transitioned me from like buying modern to buying Hall of Famers. I saw this and I just thought it was the coolest card ever. Um, and again, it was kind of like that. Uh, like the Skyview and the Quick Strike, it was really expensive. It came down kind of when, you know, after the COVID boom, I got my hands on this. And yeah, I'd love to get more of these, but this is such a sick card. It's not like insanely rare, insanely expensive. As far as Jordan inserts go, it's still a good card. But yeah, that's uh, that's my favorite insert for sure. But still got a couple more Jordans here. Um, 
This is a dual game worn warm up of Jordan Kobe. So not jerseys, but warm ups. Um, but this is one I just, I knew I had to get my hands on this, at least one of these type of cards. Cause uh, yeah, those are, uh, they aren't wearing any more jerseys. So those are cool. And then uh, got this staple in my collection, PSA three. 86 for Jordan sticker. Um, it looks pretty damn good for a three. I think they really kill it for that little nick right there. But yeah, got this at the CSA show, traded for it, kind of overpaid. Lost my 85 star, but yeah, it's a cool one. So that does it for Jordan, uh, except for the number one card in my collection. We'll save that for the end. Uh, but now we're going to move over to John Wall. Obviously, got some nice stuff of his. Uh, first up, got this. BGS 9.5 one of one patch. Been showing a ton of John Wall one of ones. There's another one for you. Oh, this next card is crazy. This is my only card from this set, uh, Eminence. It's just too expensive. Uh, this is 14.15, number to 10. You can see it's the All Star uh, like shorts. I still have this jersey from when I was a kid, and that's kind of why I knew no matter what I had to grab this card. Such a such a sick card. Crazy thick, too. Um, and, yeah, I love this card, man. Um, probably never going to see it again, so had to grab it. Then got this 14-15 uh, Immaculate Patch. I know the lighting sucks. I'm trying to trying to work with it. Number 2 of 2. Um, yeah, not the best patch, but, again, I mentioned before that 14-15 is, like, my year, so had to get that. Another sick one on one here, flawless. Uh, this card went up for auction like three times, and then I guess the buyers never paid, and so eventually I was like, okay, I, I kind of have to buy this card. Um, it's got a smudged auto, but it's a flawless platinum one on one. It's not like a white box or anything. It's like a true flawless one on one. So yeah, that's a nice one. Uh, got this thirteen prism gold, number to ten. You know, not crazy, but um, really sick card. Second year prism too. I could never get a first year, but I will be happy with my second year insert. And then uh, I was actually lucky enough to get this at a show. Even though I live in Virginia, uh, most shows don't have John Wall, and if they do, it's ridiculously overpriced. Uh, this I pay up for this even still is like 115, I think. But pretty cool patch with the A and the L on card number to 15 jersey match. Sick card. Um. Got a couple of dope case hits here. This is a first year Kaboom. I'd love to get all the Kabooms, but for whatever reason, I only have the first year. Um, the other ones are tough. Um, and yeah, this is, a, this is a sick card. I mean, obviously, like the most iconic, you know, Panini case hits um, that they make. So happy to have that one. And then this one I bought raw, got it graded, came back to PSA 10. I actually didn't think it was a 10, but I looked at the pop report and it was... 9 for 9 on 10, so I said, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. Um, they gave it a 10, so. Yeah, another awesome, awesome case that they make downtowns. So cool, so. Glad to have that. Um, these next ones I'm going to show together. I love these cards. Um, these W patches are crazy. They're both 1 of 4. This one's from Immaculate. This one's from, like, Father's Day or something. I don't know. I don't remember what it's from. But yeah, these are, I love patches and it doesn't really get better than this. So those are awesome, awesome cards. Uh, this card uh, I won for insanely cheap on eBay. Uh, I think like 130 maybe. This is a Prism Blockchain one of one tag patch auto for, for less than 150 bucks. It's one of my favorite cards I own. I mean, it's so sick. So yeah, there's that. Coming down the last two here. I know I have not been counting, but uh, got three cards left. This is probably my favorite John Wall card. It's not my nicest one though. It's a BGS eight and a half. It's John Wall Bradley Beal Dual Auto, 1415 Immaculate. Um, this card, uh, similar to whatever I mentioned earlier, I I lost this auction actually. The one on one flawless I didn't even bid on. This auction I lost, I was so pissed off. And then a few days later, it went back up, and I was like, okay, I'm bidding every dollar I have. 
and actually end up going for less. Um, but this is a, yeah, dual on card auto of like my freaking childhood of basketball here. So that is such a cool card. I'll always cherish this. I actually had a chance to get another one, but I didn't buy it because <laughs> I already had one. Um, and then this card, similar to that blockchain, I got this card for 150 bucks. And um, I honestly didn't even want it that badly just because I'm not really into like RPAs as much. I just sometimes they're not as cool. Uh, but um, looking back, I am so freaking happy I bought this. This is a uh, National Treasures RPA that is number to 12. I bought for 150 bucks. And obviously it's not like the true, the trues are, you know, ridiculous. A base one will cost you at least like $600, something like that. Um, but this is a freaking number to 12 from National Treasures, sick patch, um, good grade. Like I just got this for an absolute steal. It wouldn't surprise me if you valued this at like 300 bucks, like a thousand dollars, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's not worth a thousand, but yeah, this is such a sick card. Probably the nicest chum I own. So that's that. And like I said, I have one more Jordan. We're there. Um, got the last card. Got the number one card I own. It's been this for the past couple of years whenever I bought this. Um, yeah, if you are a fan of the channel, you know this. I don't have a ton of fans. <laughs> um, it's a PSA 7, and I showed another card like this earlier. It is a Platinum Medallion 96 Fleer Ultra. And so like I've been mentioning with the Jordan inserts, I like to go for the rare stuff that I think is undervalued. This has a stated print run of 250 copies. Um, I paid, I believe, $780, something like that, after taxes and fees and all that stuff. If you try to get one from years after this where they actually have the serial number on the back out of 250, this doesn't have it, but it has a print run of 250. I mean, you're talking like six figures. So, I think this is, in my opinion, the most undervalued Jordan insert that there is. I'd like to get more of them, but it's not easy to dish out like a thousand bucks to get a card. So, I just have the one. This is the nicest card I own. I guess if I had to pick one card to keep, it'd probably be this. Um, and uh, that's where we're going to end on. That's number one. That's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I know uh, watching these back-to-back -back is probably like 45 minutes, so... Thank you if you uh, stuck around for everything. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And uh, thanks for watching.